We learned before that aromaticity is an important phenomenon in chemistry in particular and in science as a whole. We, we have taken examples of aromatic compounds such as benzene, naphthalene, other carbocyclic systems. And not only that, we took examples of heterocyclic compounds such as um, um, those that belong to six-member systems such as uh, pyridine, five-member uh, heterocycles such as uh, pyrrole, and we learn about, uh, and now we understand actually the requirements of aromaticity, the, that the compound has to be cyclic, it has to be conjugated, it has to be flat in shape, and it should obey the Huckel rule for M plus 2. Now, we also learn that benzene um, uh, uh, can be drawn in two resonance forms, if you like, or two Lewis structures, where the difference is only the location, if you like, of the double bond inside the ring. Um, that's, therefore, benzene is actually, a, uh, the actual structure of benzene is a resonance hybrid uh, of both resonance forms. Benzene, interestingly, um, despite the fact that it contains three double bonds, it does not behave as an alkene. In other words, benzene does not undergo the reactions that and alkenes undergo. And what do we know about alkenes? What, what, we, what we know about alkenes is that uh, a normal monoalkene, if you like, or a normal alkene that consists of a double bond, the position of that double bond is actually very fixed or discrete alkenes and react with electrophiles of an a, a general structure of an AB molecule, for example, halogens, in what's called electrophilic addition reactions. So if you take um, an alkene of this type, a very general structure of an alkene, and then you react this with um, AB, uh, a general uh, formula for an electrophile, then electrophilic addition reaction uh, takes place to give this uh, electrophilic addition uh, product. This reaction is, is electrophilic addition So this is the, um, this is a very important reaction of alkenes, electrophilic addition reactions. Alkenes do react with the electrophiles. And in fact, very quickly, if the, if the electrophile is a halogen, for example, if you take a test tube containing uh, cyclohexene or an alkene, and then you add bromine, and of course, bromine is very characteristic in color. It is orange. If you add bromine, a test tube containing cyclohexene, for example, then the orange color of bromine disappears immediately. There is an instantaneous reaction between cyclohexene and bromine, which is very typical of alkenes. Alkenes do react with halogens uh, very quickly. Now, if bromine is added to a test tube containing benzene, there will be no reaction. In other words, the orange color of bromine should persist. It doesn't disappear. So therefore, benzene does not react with with bromine, for example, as an example of, uh, of an electrophile to give something like, like this. This will actually not happen. Benzene does not undergo electrophilic addition reactions. It undergoes reactions which are very special, special reactions of its own. As we learned before, actually benzene reacts with electrophiles under special conditions in electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. The answer is, or the, the, the question basically is, why is that so? Well, the position of the double bond here is actually fixed or discrete, if you like. The position of this double bond is fixed or discrete. The double bonds here, or positions of double bonds, not discrete, if you like, or fixed. And if they, if they were, of course, benzene then would undergo electrophilic, uh, electrophilic addition reactions, and it doesn't. Benzene does not undergo electrophilic addition reactions. Again, benzene undergoes its own special type of reactions, which is ele uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions, such as Friedel crafts alkylation, for example, or bromination. Using now bromine, then, and iron 3 bromide, as we learned before. Now, the positions 
of the double, double bonds inside the benzene ring is not fixed or not discrete. Therefore, in a way, they are like invisible to coming electrophiles. That's why electrophiles cannot react with benzenes without, cata without catalysis or, or, or without catalysis. Now, the positions, again, of double bonds are not visible, if you like, or not discrete. Therefore, benz benzene does not undergo the reactions that alkenes uh, undergo. And of course, it is, this is the fact. This fact is due to the aromaticity of benzene. Um, uh, aromaticity induces stability. So benzene is actually very stable to electrophiles under no catalysis, if you like. So this is, a, benzene is aromatic. That's because it is, um, 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 it obeys the, uh, or it fulfills the four requirements that it is cyclic conjugated, of course, flat, and for M plus two, according to the Hooker rule. And because it's aromatic, therefore it is stable. This is a very, very stable molecule. And of course, it's because of this continuous, if you like, uh, cyclic conjugation inside the benzene ring, which makes the benzene ring very, very stable, not accessible by electrophiles under normal conditions. Benzene does not undergo electrophilic addition reactions. Benzene undergoes electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. The bottom line here is that aromaticity induces stability. So aromaticity induces Stability, and this is very important, any aromatic compound is actually very, very stable, and it is resistant to the easy reactions, if you like. A reaction between an alkene and a, a halogen, for example, being an electrophile, should be a quick one. Alkenes undergo electrophilic addition reactions, whereas if you take benzene, for example, benzene does not undergo such reaction because benzene is very, very stable. The positions, again, of double bonds are not discrete. They are not fixed. That's because benzene is aromatic and aromaticity in benzene induces stability inside. Remember, there is a strong continuous cyclic conjugation inside the pi system of the benzene ring. Again, in conclusion here, aromaticity induces stability.